Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the MetraFlash E360 action camera. This is a very functional and uh, pretty powerful action camera, very reasonably priced. And I'll go over some of the features here. Uh, now, the camera in the box is attached to this plate. I would hold on to this plate because this plate can be very useful, especially when you're using the camera to do time-lapse photography. So hold on to that plate. Here's the camera. It's pretty basic, really. There's a button and a sliding switch on the top of the camera. This front button here is the on-off switch, and it's also the shutter button for still photography. This switch is also an on-off switch, but the difference is when, you, when this is off and you switch this to record mode, it's automatically going to turn on the camera and then begin recording video. So it's great, and it's a nice big button so it's easy to hit with uh, even if you have gloves on. And when you turn this to stop, it's going to stop recording, but the camera is going to stay on. Alternatively, you can just press and hold the shutter button to turn the camera on and off. It's great that you get haptic feedback with this camera, too. There's a vibration that you will feel when it turns on, and every time you take a still shot or begin and end video, you do get a vibration haptic feedback. So uh, it's really great that you know whether you're recording or not. Uh, then on the back there's a Wi-Fi button, so this will actually set up its own little hotspot so that you can connect a smartphone to this. Uh, you can also connect a computer to this over the network that this creates. And when you turn the Wi-Fi on, the LED indicator on the back will light up solid until the Wi-Fi connection is established with your network, and then it'll slowly flash. It takes about 25 seconds, and the network name that this camera creates is Action Plus. Uh, when you take this cap off, this is where the micro SD card slot is. You can put up to a 32 gigabyte card in here, and with a 32 gigabyte card, you can record roughly four hours of video. Uh, this has awesome battery life. It's got a 1200 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery, and it will record continuously for up to two and a half hours. You also have an HDMI port. You have a reset hole here. Then this is the Wi-Fi button. Uh, you've got a USB 2 port here. This is for charging and for data transfer. And then an FHD and HD switch to uh, change your uh, resolution of your video recording. And you can also change all those settings plus more using the application. Uh, that is built into the camera and when you attach your computer, uh, plug that into your computer, you have access to the application that will let you set the date and time and other settings for the camera. You get a ton of accessories with the camera. Uh, you get this cheesy little neoprene pouch for the camera storage. It doesn't really have a belt loop on it per se, but it does have a nylon loop and you can use the carabiner to attach that to something if you wish. You get a USB uh, cable, charging data cable, you also get an HDMI cable, and then you get a variety of mounts. These mounts will let you mount it to a helmet, to a roll bar, to a handlebar, to a board, whether it's a skateboard, surfboard, stand-up paddleboard, whatever. Um, I won't go into too much detail about the mounts because I only have a limited amount of time for the review, but you do get a helmet mount that has a curved surface with 3M sticky on it, and basically this gets attached to the helmet. This piece here gets attached to the camera and the helmet mount, and then you use these bolts to uh, tighten everything up. Um, then you also get the roll bar slash handlebar mount. Uh, I don't particularly like how this works, but uh, this is the only one that they provide. So basically you have to attach it like this, then around the handlebar, and then uh, you use these bolts to tighten everything up, and then you have to use one of these loops at the bottom to tighten it up. And uh, it's just very cumbersome, and I would highly recommend if you want to use this on a bicycle that you get a proper handlebar mount. Uh, and you will be richly rewarded. And then as far as the board mounts, this is a flat mount with adhesive on it, and uh, also you get a safety leash and a uh, mount on your board for the safety leash to attach to. Um, you also get a couple extra things here. This is a 90 degree mount, and then you get a quick release mount here. 
um, and then you also get a tilting mount which once your camera is mounted you will be able to tilt your camera using this mount so you can use a lot of these pieces together to get just exactly what you need um, so I'd love to show you some video and still shot examples and I'm also going to compare it to the GoPro Hero 3 Black that I have and uh, I think you'll find that the quality of the recording is very good. Uh, I do find the colors are more saturated with the Polaroid but um, all in all for the price this is really a great action camera so please view these samples. This is the sound of the Metro Flash, and there is no housing to remove. This is just the way it is. All right, this is an example of the GoPro sound when it's in the waterproof housing. And this is an example of the sound of the GoPro when it's out of its housing. All right, I've connected to the Action Plus network with my MacBook Pro, and I'm now viewing a live stream of the camera. Very low latency. It's really excellent. I can also access the file structure on the camera's memory card, and I can download both video and uh, still shots in the files. I can also change the name of the network and the password in the setting tab, and I can also update firmware using this uh, interface here. And that's about it. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.